Hey, what's going on everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. Let's knit that into a vest. You heard that right. Hot Ones, my desk is really messy right now. Hot Ones is one of my favorite shows on the internet and all of entertainment history. Oh my God. This is, place is a disaster. I think Sean Evans is the best interviewer ever. Um, don't argue with me, because I will not entertain it. I love Hot Ones. It's a great show. My favorite part is the intro that, I, that you just saw. Um, so I thought it would be fun to knit that onto a vest. Because why not? So let's do it. I'm going to use this basic stitch yarn from Lion Brand. And I think I'm going to do the writing. I don't know. I, I, I don't really have much of a plan right now. Like I have the, I have yellow yarn and then I also have red yarn somewhere. Here's some red yarn. It's currently a vest. It's the Candace vest, TBT to the Phineas and Ferb collection that I did. Collection. It looks kind of orange on camera. Do I have better red yarn? I'm not like obsessed with this red. Actually, you know what? Theirs is actually kind of orangey. So this works. Their writing is in yellow, but I feel like it'll be hard to read the yellow. Anyways, whatever. So yeah, I, d I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no plan, <laughs> nothing really. So I think I'm just gonna start with a swatch. I have also have no business starting this right now. I just, my hands hurt from crocheting, so I'm just gonna knit, which is also a bad idea. Anyways, this yarn calls for five millimeter needles. Now the next question is, where are my needles? Hmm. This is red yarn. This yarn is more red. Five. Yeah, let's try. Should I use five and a half? No. Yes. I'm gonna use five and a half. Why? Don't know. But I've made the executive decision. Okay, I'm gonna do a swatch. Try to make a plan of some sort. I was thinking around the like armholes, I don't want to do like your typical like ribbing in the opposite direction. I want to do ribbing in the same direction, which I don't know if that makes any sense, but I want to like do like a brioche almost, which I have never done. So, We'll see how that works out. Hi, it's the next day. I have a be real notification. Today has already been a day. Work is busy today. So I just got dressed. It's 2.30, so we're doing well. This is what I have. It's not much, but this is my swatch. It's a little brioche situation. So I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do. I tested out last night the, um, the like two color fisherman's rib um, and I didn't like it. So then I did the brioche. So I'm gonna do the brioche, but I'm just trying to figure out how to like transition from this into like regular stockinette. I don't know if I'm gonna do yellow or red on the bottom or orange or whatever. My next thing that I need to do is I want, <laughs> I want to like, I don't know how to explain this. I want to continue the brioche did I finish that row? Oh, I did. Okay, sorry. I want to continue like for the armhole ribbing. I want it to be like brioche, but going in the same direction as the stockinette, not like the opposite direction, um, which isn't easy. It's not as easy as like a regular ribbing because the brioche doesn't have like the same like row pattern as like regular stockinette. So it's like, this side and then you go back to that side. Like you move it around on your needles and you go that way and then you go that way and then that way again. So I can't, it's not the same direction. It's not just back and forth. It's like forth, forth, back, back. So I need more needles <laughs> if I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna, shut up. I'm gonna need to get some DPNs. I'm gonna need four DPNs for this if I'm doing it. But before I buy them, I want to figure out if it's possible and will look half decent. If it doesn't work, what I'll do is I'll just make it separately and then probably sew it on. 
And I, the other thing is I don't have the same size needles as these. I'm gonna use smaller needles. It'll only do it on one side. These are feel so much smaller. Anyways, I'm gonna get my needles set up. So, I think I'm just gonna, these are so loud. I think I'm just gonna sew it on. I think I'm just gonna sew on the ribbing, on the armholes, and hope for the best because this is just, it's too complicated and I don't really feel like figuring it out right now. Maybe at a later date, I could probably figure it out, but right now, this date, no thanks. I did a word and I took my measurements. This is the correct side of the ribbing, Jesus. So I think I'm gonna do the words in yellow actually. And then I think for the ribbing, like for the bottom ribbing, I want it to do like red, orange, and then yellow. Would that work? Don't know, but we'll try it. Let's try it now actually. And I wanna try it on the smaller needles to see how big it'll be. Oh, I don't actually have to take this off if that's what I'm doing. Okay, this is a tangled mess. Anyways, oh, it's the next day. I have some swatches. Ignore the orange. I'm not gonna do the orange. I'm just gonna do the red, but from yesterday, I don't know how much I got done. Anyways, I have my measurements and stuff. I'm going to basically, I'm not picking it up. There's too many things on it. My Buford vest, the black one. Obviously, you know what I'm talking about. Here's a picture. So yeah, I'm kind of based the measurements off of that. Oh, why don't I just make the back first? I was gonna figure out the decrease and then do the front, but I think I'm just gonna get started and make the back first and then figure out the decreases when I make the back. Should I just do it now? Maybe I'll just do it now. Fine, I'll do it now. You've convinced me. I'm watching Gilmore Girls. I'm, like, I'm on season two. Rory is so annoying. I hear she's getting worse. How is that possible? Oh, maybe I should do some math. Ugh. Ribbing is too small. So I have to use different needles. Use these guys. Ooh. Shit. I'm just very excited to start from the beginning. Take two. It's the next day. This is the third time I did the ribbing, but it finally took. So getting started on the actual thing. Hopefully it turns out well, I don't know. I'm doing the back first. preface the next clip there is a change in background because I moved to London England so yeah in between the last clip and the next one I moved to a different country that's it back to our regularly scheduled programming what there's so much noise outside can you even see me <clears throat> yep why did I start filming my chair is loud I'm back to working on this vest. I haven't worked on it in 
whoops, in like, in like weeks. Um, and I picked it up and I was like, yeah, I'm almost done. I forgot that I had taken out like half of the back panel. Anyways, here I am working on it again. Now I have to like figure out that I have to stop doing this. It's shaking so much. I have to figure out the decreases for the armholes. I thought I was like done. I really want to get this sweater done. Vest, whatever you want to call it. is so loud. I'm gonna try not to move. I'm done the back. No, I'm not. That was, I just lied. I'm almost done the back. Um, but I'm bored of it. Readjusting. But I'm bored of it, so I'm gonna start the front. I did the chart. I think I've got everything figured out, like all of the words and where they're supposed to go, because I figured out pretty much the stitches and, and everything, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I'm not done the back but I'm gonna just start on the front anyways. Oh my God, I don't have scrap yarn. No, I have the one that this was on previously. Welcome to Morgan just talks to herself. See, the thing is, is that I need to take this off the needle, but I don't have like waste yarn right now because I don't have like my proper stash, but I had like the one that I, brought this on, but where is it? I might just have to cut a piece of yarn. That is so annoying, I don't wanna do that. Like, I feel like I, it's here somewhere. Oh, this is pretty long. I could use this one. Okay, false alarm, I do actually have waist yarn. I'm gonna get this on this. Just long enough. Oh, yeah, enough. I wish I had like things to talk about. How do people just like talk about things when they're doing stuff? I don't have, like I live through anything. Nothing going on up here. When did I start making this vest? Like, I feel like it was like two months ago. When, when did I start? I don't remember. Was it August or September? No clue, I have no idea. Anyways, I'd like to get this done by the end of the week. It's Tuesday at the moment, um, and I'm hoping for this sweater vest. I keep calling it a sweater. I, everything I make is a sweater. That's no matter what it is, it's just a sweater. Um, like I'd like to finish the vest by the end of the week. I feel like I can. The good thing is I don't have to do like ribbing on the armholes because I'm just doing that as I'm going. Hopefully this vest turns out okay. And that's not like, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I need more yarn. Damn it. Okay. I have to figure out how I did the brioche ribbing on the bottom because I do not remember. Oh, I need the red yarn too. Damn it. Yarn. I don't remember how I did this. Shit. I think I did it on the same, like I think maybe I wrote it down. I definitely don't know how many rows I did. No. No, didn't write it down. What method did I use to cast on? Did I film it? Did I film me casting on? I feel like I definitely didn't. Shoulders fucking cracked, bro. Ugh, good news, uh, girl bosses. I filmed it. Am I pulling? Mm hmm. I did a long tail cast on. So that is very helpful. Something I don't like with a long tail cast on is how much yarn do I need? You know what I mean? It's always just like too much. I'm just gonna take a fuck time. I also confirmed I started this in August. Two months. I mean, I did move to a different country and also continent. So I feel like that's like fine to take a break from from a project. 
I also have no idea if I'm using the right needles. Like, no, no clue. I'm hoping I am. I guess we'll find out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. I'm not gonna lie. It's turning out really well. I don't wanna like jinx myself, but oh my god. It looks really good so far. So hopefully it fits okay and it, the rest of it turns out well. Here's the back. But so far, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Sorry, it's good. Hello? That's the back, duh. Um, but a fun development is the fact that the back, the back panel is like an inch and a half to two inches like wider than the front and I don't really know why or how, but it, we're just gonna have to live with it. I'm like, I'm almost, like I'm, I say I'm almost done. I still have to do the neck. The neck ribbing is gonna, it's gonna take a long time and I'm probably gonna have to do it a couple times, but I'm trying to decide if I wanna do just like a regular rib or if I wanna do brioche, like if I wanna do this situation around the neck. I kind of want to, like it'll, like I don't really, hmm, like it'll be hard, but I feel like it'll look cool. So it's worth it. I don't know, I, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think I'm probably gonna end up doing the brioche around the neck and it's gonna take me like eight tries. I hope this turns out well. It looks really good so far. Like, the words are turning out really well. So hopefully the shape is okay and the fit is okay. If not, I'll be sad, but whatever. Um, I'm watching New Girl for the 800 and seventh time. October 30th and I it's 11 20 in the morning and I would like to finish this vest today is that like a lot to ask of myself maybe is it doable it should be it should be completely doable I think like I can definitely finish the front panel mostly because it's like almost done <laughs> The issue is going to be the neck ribbing. 
because I do want to do brioche and I am gonna mess it up. Anyways, let's get going, I guess. My camera died and here's what's happened. I think it's too long. I, the camera keeps shaking. I think it's too long and I don't think I like it. It's just, too, I don't know. It's too long. It's just too, like, huh. So my plan is to finish it and then probably undo it. <laughs> I'm laughing through the pain. It's just like, it's way too, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't even think I'm gonna finish it. Like the arm, like that's the armhole. What was that, like, I don't understand that. Why do I gauge? You know what I mean? Maybe it's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish it. So I'm gonna finish the front at least. I just have to do the other shoulder and then I'm probably gonna take it apart and redo it. Which is annoying and awful. But if I don't like it, like I don't wanna make something that I don't like, you know? I don't know, we'll see, like it's just, so fucking long. Maybe I'll just leave it. Maybe it'll be fine and I'm being stupid, but it's like so much longer than I wanted it to be. I don't know how. I guess I just didn't pr plan properly. That's probably, that's probably how. I also, when I did like the other shoulder, like this one, I absolutely did not write down what I was doing. My camera is up way too fucking high right now. First of all, what is the point of gauging? What's the literal point of doing math and gauging? Cause even like the width is wrong. <sighs> I also am not convinced I used the right needle size for the ribbing at the bottom. Anyways, so I like had this whole thing, my camera died. I like finished the, the writing, like the words. And then I realized that it was too long. And I was like pissed and tr like going back and forth on like, okay, is it really too long or is it fine? Whatever, whatever. And then I was like, I need to take a break. So I went grocery shopping and then I came back. I had lunch and like it's, what am I doing? Oh. I'm wondering, like I'm curious if I undo it, how much I can get done this evening. It's so long. It's so long. This is so ridiculous. I'm undoing it. I keep going back. I don't know. I don't know. I have to finish it first. And you're like, Morgan, why are you finishing it if you're just gonna do it? I've already made it this far. I might as well finish it and make sure that it's like bad. <laughs> and then take it apart rather than just take it apart and then it was ultimately fine. So I'm like 90% sure that I'm gonna be taking it out anyways, but then this way I can like make better plans. This is not, does this make any sense? This is why I don't talk that much in these, like I just talk shit. I just say whatever. What was I trying to say? The reason I'm finishing it instead of just undoing it right now is to A, make sure it's actually bad. <laughs> and that I actually don't like it and that it's worth undoing because it's hard to tell when it's like partially done. And then also so that I can like fully figure out what it is I want to do to fix it and see if there are any other issues that I need to fix besides the length. 
So that's, that's me right now. <laughs> Is it done? Yeah. Do I like the way it fits? Not really. Am I gonna redo it? <laughs> no. Absolutely not. I put the sweater under it, which helps. It's fine. It's, it turned out pretty well, honestly. Like, I just don't, just don't love the fit, but what are you gonna do? I'm not doing it again. It's quite simple. I'm not redoing it. I just can't. I can't, maybe one day. I just can't do it right now. This is it, guys. I'll see you again tomorrow in better lighting. Yeah. No, I'm using a ring to prop up my camera so it doesn't fall over. Um, it's done. Here it is on again and maybe better lighting. I don't know. I added, um, I don't think I could film this part, but I added red. Why am I out of breath? I added red to the, um, to the collar, uh, cause why not? Just to add something else. Cause I couldn't do the ribbing cause it was already too long. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, here it is. Yeah, like, comment, comment your favorite Hot Ones episode so that I can go and watch them again. Um, subscribe, please. Follow me on Instagram, because why not? Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.